Greetings, Kirk Vandenberg here with PositiveProjections.com. Recently, over at Heartbeat of Kauai, I answered a question, does the Apple Mac get viruses? And one of the recommendations for a free piece of software was iAntivirus. It's this software right here at iAntivirus.com. And, um, you know, looking at the page, it looks to me like it's a current package. But we just got this great uh, comment <clears throat> excuse me, from Lee Binder, and thanking us for our article, but highly re recommending that we remove iAntivirus as a recommendation that he has learned from various forum links that it's completely outdated, and that they haven't updated the software in over two years. It seems like it may be a kind of a bait-and-switch type stuff from the free version to the paid version. So thank you, Lee, for letting us know about that. And Coincidentally, before I got this email, I actually had been looking around um, at other packages and I noticed a, uh, a notice come through uh, regarding the Apple iStore. We are talking about, um, excuse me, the Apple App Store, and we are talking about Apple here. Um, completely different subject than, run, than Windows PCs and viruses. So, and it was regarding a software package that's been out around for a long time called Clam AV. And this is Clam XAV. So, so on your Mac, go to the app, open the App Store, type in Clam XAV up in the upper right hand search here, and you'll get taken to. There's only one result, and you can click Clam XAV. Now I have it installed, but this is where you'd install it. And this is a Mac OS X friend end to the very popular Clam AV open source antivirus engine. So uh, that's what we're running right now. And right here, if you, once you have it installed, you can choose preferences and then just decide what works for you regarding these settings. And we're just, because these are Macs and there really hasn't been a major virus threat, we're just running it Sunday evenings once a week. Uh, I think a more conservative approach, if you want to be a little bit safer and you didn't mind uh, kind of tying your computer up a little bit, perhaps you could schedule it for when you were offline. Um, you can set it up for every day if you want to be a little bit safer. And uh, we still, uh, you, could, you could update your virus uh, definitions every day and do a scan every day. So uh, again, that would be safer, but I don't really feel it's necessary for us. So thanks again, Lee, for the information. Very, very helpful. I appreciate it. If you have any more questions, you can go to positiveprojections.com slash contact or contact on the menu here. Enter your name, email, subject, verification code, and your question. Thanks a lot. Take care.